but I'm very delighted to welcome you today and to say good afternoon uh, to this STEM salon that changed the equation and Bayer have done together to celebrate the release of their very important findings on STEM, the STEM US workforce shortage, myth or reality. Um, this will be a very exciting event and there'll be a lot of lively discussion today and we'll also be involving the audience in that discussion. Uh, but I wanted, before I say anything more, to thank in particular our friends at Bayer who made this possible for us. Um, they came to us with the very exciting data set that you're going to hear about later today. Um, as probably most of you know in this audience, there has been a lot of very, in some cases, heated debate recently over the STEM skills shortage and whether it rises to a crisis. Um, I think it's fair to say that this is not a controversial matter for Change the Equation, uh, whose more than 80 business members are dedicated to dramatically improving the uh, STEM learning of American young people. Um, and this is not a crisis because our members live this every day. This is very much a part of their reality. So they'd be among the first to say the shortage is real and that it is, in fact, bad for business. So the Bayer Facts of Science survey, which is being released today, actually provides data to support this argument. Um, data from hiring managers at Fortune 1000 companies across the country. Uh, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, uh, I just wanted to give you a very quick sense of what we have planned today, a very exciting event. Uh, we'll be hearing from the legendary Dr. Mae Jemison, uh, the first woman in space, uh, and then hosting a discussion of four very distinguished panelists who will talk about the findings and their implications uh, for people in business and in other areas of the country. Um, before I go into... Um, introducing Rebecca Lucor from Bayer Material Science. I did want to do two quick housekeeping keeping tips that I've been um, urged strongly to remind you of. First is that there is Wi-Fi available in this room. And if you look at your very beautiful printed agenda on the inside, the information for the Wi-Fi is actually in the agenda. And also, you have information for tweeting at the bottom of the agenda. And finally, after our panel discussion, we will be accepting questions, obviously from the audience in real time, but also through Twitter. 